We had a fantastic year uh, in 2018, our 15th consecutive year for positive same-store sales growth for the brand, and another record-setting year for us, culminating in a very strong fourth quarter, some fantastic momentum driven primarily uh, by some uh, marketing efforts that we put in place early in the quarter to really stimulate uh, excitement amongst our consumers, bring new consumers into the business, and then prepare ourselves for an increase in our marketing spend going into 2019, which we believe is the catalyst for our strong uh, out of the gates performance so far this year. So 6% same store sale growth in the, in the uh, past quarter. Is it reasonable to expect that that is a number, an achievable number for 2019 or that you might be able, able even to blow past that? Well, you know, we always uh, want to anchor ourselves on our long-term outlook, which is a low single-digit same-store sales growth combined with 10% plus uh, d d development, both domestic and international, mm -hmm. as the key anchors to the long-term outlook for us to become a top 10 global restaurant brand. But our momentum has been quite strong, both on a one- and two-year basis. And as we enter the year, uh, a lot of that momentum coming out of the fourth quarter uh, gives us comfort. Uh, that we can have yet another strong year in 2019, but we haven't given any specifics to this point mm -hmm. as to what we think the outlook will look like. Part of momentum in, in the fourth quarter is the promotions that you've had, the boneless bundle, for instance, for $15.99, some new sides like loaded fries, uh, fried corn. Those did quite well, Charlie. Um, but as you had mentioned, uh, I believe on the earnings call, you do expect bone-in wing prices to increase. So can you, can you sort of give me your lay of the land in terms of what you see next year in terms of the pushes and the pulls in your business? Sure. And we do expect to see wing prices up a little bit from the 2018 levels that we experienced, which were uh, well below in a very deflationary environment, uh, the numbers that we saw in 2017. Wings uh, tend to be a very volatile commodity. They are up and down in any given year. But we do expect this outlook to be slightly up, but we don't think that's going to have an impact at all on our franchisees' overall performance, profitability, and we do expect a strong development year as well uh, for new restaurant development. So overall, I think uh, uh, the outlook is uh, quite strong for, for the Wingstop brand. What about labor costs? You know, every restaurant brand uh, struggles with uh, the challenges associated with some wage inflation. Uh, we meant, you mentioned the new side items that we put in place last year. Those were aimed at helping to cut back the amount of prep that we had to do in the restaurants, which actually saved labor hours for our franchisees. And then from time to time, we will introduce some pricing strategically to help offset uh, the effects of wages legislation. And then the last piece uh, is innovation. And we're already working on some ways to innovate to help make the occasion easier for our guests, which also helps take our, uh, our, our folks that are taking care of guests at the front counters away from telephones, for instance, and engaging them in digital technologies that will help uh, facilitate a faster transaction and save a little bit there. But for the most part, I think we're well positioned, again, with some of the best unit economics in the industry mm -hmm. to continue a long and steady growth path. What's your favorite menu item? <laughs> well, our favorite for your the favorite, fans and for favorite. myself as well, myself as well, is uh, lemon pepper bone-in wings. That's our staple. It's our number one seller. Uh, it's truly a unique and differentiated product.